Disclaimer. The information in this video is for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of a qualified healthcare provider with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Hi everyone, this is Julie. Thank you for stopping by for another video today. I hope you're having a fantabulous day today. And in this video, I wanted to touch on COVID-19. I know all of us are dealing with um, all of what is unfolding uh, this time. And I wanted to do a couple of videos looking at things from a Dr. Sebi perspective. And Dr. Sebi always told us that mucus is the only disease. And where it concerns COVID-19, I wanted to look at that in terms of COVID-19. Where is the mucus in this instance? The cause of mucus is the cause of all disease. This was the question posed to me in court. That why were we making these claims and why were we so successful and what was, you know, what was going on? is that disease was never identified to us. If it was identified, then the question sh would not be asked now, and then we all, all of us that are sick would be enjoying health. Well, disease is the accumulation of mucus, breaking down the mucous membrane, and that mucus covering groups of cells in your body. Like, for instance, we have the mucous membrane in the body to protect us from the onslaught of aerobic bacteria, as they are called as they are called. But this mucous membrane is for protection. But now we eat acid foods and the acid food breaks down the mucous membrane and does cause it to flow with the blood covering other groups of cells now. Groups of cells that belongs to organs. Depriving them of oxygen. If the mucus goes to your nostrils they call it sinusitis. If the mucus goes to your bronchial tubes is bronchitis. If the mucus goes to the lungs, there's pneumonia. They didn't make any claims. They didn't do anything. With COVID-19, victims usually die from severe acute respiratory distress syndrome. This is what they call it. And this is basically where one is unable to breathe. And they usually die from a lack of oxygen. And this occurs because mucus fills the lungs, depriving the body of oxygen. And so here is where we see in respect to COVID-19, the mucus is actually in the lungs. That's where the mucus builds up. Now, according to the autopsy reports coming out of China, the mucus solidifies and block the airways and lungs. They found and from their autopsy, a large amount of mucus in the lungs. They further stated that the secretion was very sticky and that it attached to the lungs like paste. They said the mucus was in the deep seated airways and, um, you know, so it, it, it really and truly individuals who die usually die from a lack of oxygen because the lungs is filled with mucus and it is actually the mucus that can lead to death because the mucus usually covers the cell and deprives them of oxygen and nutrients so in another video we could explore further what could cause damage to cells but in this video, I just wanted to address the question, where is the mucus as it pertains to COVID-19? And the mucus is in the lungs. And what do we do then? We have to break up and expectorate the mucus. Dr. Sebi uh, have a number of herbs that could be used for this. Dr. Sebi approved herbs, I should say, such as the malene. Um, very good herb, the sage, ginger. Many people have ginger. If they have nothing, they usually will have ginger. Fresh thyme, nettle, elderberry, 
elderflowers. These are some Dr. Sebi approved herbs that you could use to assist the lungs and also to keep the airways clear. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, I have two questions. Yes, sir. Uh, first of all, does that mean that citrus and the citrus fruits and all are not uh, beneficial to the body? They are not as acid as, as uh, starch. You see, in the acid stuff, something that was made by this man, some are more and, and some are less. Citrus is acid. I'm not going to sit here and deny that because the natural orange is alkaline. And I think Lori had a chance to see one in Honduras. Uh, natural orange. They call it civil orange. Any of you from the Caribbean know about civil orange? Yes, yeah, she knows. She and he knows. So you know. That's an orange that cures you. You, you could take civil orange and put it on your head and mucus comes out of your nose that you never imagine. Yeah, orange. You see? It's not as sweet as the one. So what I see we need to do, yeah. like the brothers are asking about things that come from the tribe that they do not know about, why don't we have an expedition ourselves? Just remember, it's always important to first try to remove the mucus. Usually when you are congested, you do feel that congestion. And I would say it's not just about COVID, but in general, wherever we feel mucusy and stuffy, then we need to begin to remove that because when we have mucus building up in the lungs, it does affect our breathing. And that means it affects the oxygen that is carried throughout the body. So there you have it. I will do some other videos as it pertains to COVID-19 in relation to Dr. Sebi's teachings. And so do look forward to that. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Be the change you'd like to see in this world. Have a fantabulous day today. Ta-ta.